Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Auto for XP patch files, um, which is mainly for sort of custom sceneries which have a custom mesh file. Uh, so I'll explain what a patch file does exactly uh, now. So what a patch file allows you to do is integrate a custom mesh that might come with uh, some payware airports. Uh, and it will allow you to essentially use that mesh to create your own auto for XP tile and it'll integrate them together. So you just need to use the auto for XP tile rather than the custom mesh in your custom scenery folder. Now, normally, if you have a custom mesh in your custom scenery folder and then you try and add a regular auto for, for XP tile uh, into that without a patch, it won't work. Uh, most of the time, it won't work. So this is how you can get around that. Now, some sceneries come with a patch file, such as most of Thai model sceneries, um, SFD sceneries uh, come with patch files. So I'm going to show you how to use it. Today I'm going to be doing the Auto 4XP patch for EGCC, which is a separate download. The link to this download is in the documentation of the Thai models Manchester uh, scenery. So what you want to do is unzip this. Uh, and basically whichever airport you're installing you want to go ahead and find the patch file so as you can see in here there's a egcc.patch.osm and you can see that there's a file structure here this file structure is very important um, and you can see patches here patches here all we need to do is copy this into here replace the files if it asks and now the patch file is here and also for xp will be able to read that now sometimes there's also some options here as you can see time models default elevation fixes that comes with this so you can copy these and hit control c go to your custom scenery folder time models manchester and paste that there um, this you don't always have to do if your um, scenery doesn't have it if it does and you see these files in an options folder or something then do copy those across now you are uh, almost pretty much done actually now all we want to do is load up auto 4 xp as normal okay so now we have auto 4 xp open all you want to do is select your tile so i'm going to go all the way over here to manchester select the tile and you basically want to make your uh, scenery as per usual sorry your auto tile as per usual i do have a video on how to make auto 4 xp tiles with some custom uh, settings and tips so do go ahead and check that out i'll link that in the description and yeah all you want to do is make your tile as you normally would so i've ticked all these click batch build and i'm going to do arc 17 just for the purposes of this video and what we want to look out for is this patching egcc.patch.osm this means that it's read that patch file and is now uh, well patching the scenery and that's it you can leave it to uh, generate the tile as per usual uh, you can put the tile in your custom scenery folder or add a shortcut or whatever, however you want to do it. Uh, edit your .ini as required. All of that is shown in the auto for XP installation, which will be in the description. And that's it, you're done. Now you can load up X-Plane and take a look. Alright, so as you can see here, we have all our custom uh, auto. We are back in X-Plane uh, and we have the custom auto and it looks really nice. It actually integrates quite nicely with the time model scenery. So if we now go, uh, if I do this, if we go look at the mesh, and as you can see, just there, all the mesh is still there. So we still got our lovely 3D mesh custom from Time Models, uh, and we also have our auto tile, as you can see here. Let's zoom out a bit too much. Uh, got our auto tile. So yeah, that's how you use auto for XP patch files. It's really nice that developers like SFD and time models and plenty of others provide patch files for their sceneries it makes it really accessible for us and i do really enjoy it actually uh, as always if you have any questions comments uh need any help then do let me know in my comments or in my discord server that's the best way to get a hold of me and yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one